Hey guys, for today's video, we're going to be doing the second installment of my current series that I'm doing. This is my fall eyeshadow looks for 2020 series. So I recently did a video where I showed y'all all of my favorite palettes for fall. So in this series, I'm going to pick one of the palettes for each of the videos and create an eyeshadow look with that. And I'm also challenging myself to use a different lip product in each of those videos. So this is the look that we're going to be doing today and we're featuring the Jackie Ina ABH palette so we went with like rich purples and pinks today hints of rose gold and a little bit of silver in there too so this is definitely more my speed because I love more of like cool tone looks but we're gonna see a mix of like cool warm and neutrals during this series but I really had a lot of fun creating this particular look today so I'm gonna show y'all how I did it using this palette and I'll show y'all at the end what lip I decided to pair with it so before we get started if you're new here welcome my name is Sonia Nicole please Please make sure you subscribe while you're here today because I would love to have you join me. If you do subscribe, let me know in the comments so I can be sure to say thank you. And of course, for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. And I really, really appreciate your continued support as I always do. Okay, you guys, let's jump right into it. So there's lawn mowing going on outside, so I do apologize if you can hear it, but I had to leave my window cracked because it is kind of stuffy in here today. So I think I'm going to do what I did for the first video. I'm just going to speed through the first half of my makeup routine and then we'll do a walkthrough of the eyeshadow look. But you can let me know in the comments if you like this format or would you rather me talk through the entire routine, but I figured I would just speed through the first part since we are focusing on the eyeshadow for today. So I'm just going to have the stuff that I'm going to be using on my face pop up on the screen. Let's get started with the eyes. This is the look that we're doing today and I'm going in with my e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. This one is in the shade Rose. And I like to just pick this up with my finger just to kind of like warm it up a little bit and just pat it on my lid. I like to concentrate most of the product on the bottom part of my lid and then kind of put the residual up toward the brow. I used to always put like a more skin tone concealer up toward the brow, but lately I've just been using one product and just using less of it up here. And then going in with the Jackie Ina palette, I'm taking this shade here. This is called Lituation. And this is the one that I gravitate to the most, this shade here, because it's a cool toned shade. So it just grabs my attention. It's kind of like a purpley taupey shade with maybe like some silver reflex in there maybe. So I'm going to put that on the majority of my lid. And this particular palette as with all of the ABH palettes it has quite a bit of fallout so you have to make sure that you're tapping off your excess when you pick up shadows from this palette. So what I did on this eye was I coated the lid using my brush and then I just went over it with my finger. So I'm going to do the same thing just so we have like the same level of intensity and I like to bring it like all the way down 
to my lash line. I know when I do eyeshadow, I'm pretty much doing like the same like technique each time and I'm just changing up the colors that I'm using. But during this series, I am gonna challenge myself here and there, do like some more halo eyes. Um, that's really the only other thing that I can do. Um, cut creases are just out for me. Like, I feel like the way that my eye is shaped, I just can't do, I don't know. Maybe I could, but I just can't see how a cut crease is gonna work on my eye shape. But I will say I've never tried to do a cut crease, so maybe I should try, but just looking at my eyes, I don't know. I don't think that I can pull that off, so. All right, next I'm going in with this shade here. This is called Big Wig this rich purple shade that's going to go on my outer lid and it is going to overlap the first shimmery shade a little bit and then i'm just blending very gently right where the two colors are meeting each other i'm just going in very light circles over the line and i am going to push the dark purple shade kind of like into the shimmery shade just a little bit and create like more of a gradient between the two shades and of course in doing that i feel like right here i got rid of too much of the purple so i'm just patting it on and i did tell you guys in the last video that this is my area where i have to be like really careful because of the way that my lids like the skin folds over so this is the area where I quite often have to go back and forth like this. Next I'm going in with this matte brown shade here and I'm going to concentrate a good amount of that in my crease area. So I'm using this shade to deepen out this area here. But I really want this brown to kind of come through in the look. And I feel like this will give it more of like a, I guess, a rustic look because it's a brown shade. And I am going to drag this pretty much all the way in, but I'm using kind of like residual product on the inner eye just because I don't want the brown to be as deep over here as I want it to be over here. I'm going back in with the matte purple shade, the um, the one that I have on the outer corner, and I'm going to apply some of that on the outer part of the lower lash line. And then I'm going in with this matte like deep, I call it like a deep pink shade here. I'm gonna use this shade to kind of buff everything out. So I'm gonna start on the lower lash line and I'm gonna blend it right underneath the purple. So this will add a little gradient and it'll help me to further buff the purple. So I am concentrating this brush right where the purple stops so that I can buff it out right there. But then I'm also gonna drag it back up to the upper lash line and then I'm gonna blend around. I don't have a whole lot of space up here so the shades that I put like in my, what I call like my fake crease area, the shade that I put there plus the shade that I put on top of it, they always end up overlapping each other, which is fine because I feel like it makes the whole look look more blended that way. But I just don't have a whole lot of space to work with between my lid and my eyebrow. So my eyeshadows, they just overlap like that. So I'm just really buffing out where the brown and this pink shade are meeting each other. And same thing with the brown. I'm also going to drag this pretty much all the way in, but I'm just using like residual product now just so that it's not as dark on the inner part of the eye. So before I go in and clean this up, I'm going to add just a little more of the matte purple on the outer corner. I just feel like can't really see it quite as much. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up first. 
So again, I may be doing kind of like a little back and forth, but I just feel like it's super intense over here. So I'm just trying to pick up some of the shadow. And now I'm gonna go back and blend this out again. So I don't know if y'all can tell a difference, but it's just not quite as intense on the outer part of the look. I feel like I just had way too much eyeshadow over there. And then I'm just gonna very, very gently like buff around that matte purple shade. I'm holding the brush like all the way out to the end so that I can buff as light as I possibly can. And I'm just gonna lightly clean up one more time. I don't like to have like that sharp edge on my eye looks. I rather it look kind of like diffused, but I do want it to be like somewhat cleaned up over here, you know? All right, the same shimmery shade that I have on my lid this shade here, I'm gonna use that same shade as my brow bone highlight. So I'm concentrating it like right on the arch of my brow, but I am letting it cover some of the look a little bit. Number one, I just can't help that because again, I don't have a whole lot of space right here, but I actually like it when your brow bone highlight kind of like trickles down and kind of like dissipates on the rest of the look. I like the way that looks on me so and then for the inner corner I'm taking this shimmery like the shimmery rose gold right here this is like a very um, almost like a glittery color so you have to really tap off the excess with that particular shade so I'm just gonna concentrate it on the inner corner and then just lightly tap it like right on the very beginning of that other shade that's on the inner part of the lid. I'm gonna do my blush, bronzer, and highlight on camera. I didn't do that the first time, but again, y'all can let me know in the comments like what your preference is, if you care to see this, or if you would rather me just focus on the eyes. But I'm gonna do it on camera for today. So for my blush, I'm going in with the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Bronzer in the shade Summer Breeze. And I usually prefer like corally type blushes on my face, like, most of the makeup that I'm wearing, all of my complexion products, usually my eyeshadow, lip colors, all of that stuff, they tend to be like a cooler tone. But the blush is one thing that I prefer to be a warmer tone just because I feel like that's the one thing that's going to kind of offset everything. Having like a little bit of warmth right there where everything else is more of like a cooler tone. And then for the bronzer, I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in Endless Summer. Lately, I've been applying my bronzer with this brush, and I think I like this better, better than the other brush that I used to use. So I meant to use my Rare Beauty uh, Liquid Highlighter. This is in the shade Mesmerize. I meant to use this today, but I wanted to put it on before I set my face with powder. So because I already set my face with powder, I'm gonna use something else. I'm gonna go in with my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I haven't used this in a very, very long time. But this is like a nice, subtle, powdery highlighter. I don't even know if y'all can make that out because it's so subtle, but y'all have heard me say in a lot of my recent videos that I've like really toned down on my highlighter. So that's why I chose that one. All right, I'm going to set my face with the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. All right, I'm going to do my eyeliner and mascara, then I'll show y'all what lip I'm going to use for today. I'm using the Rare Beauty Eyeliner. This is called the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm using my Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. So I'll do these off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, eyes are complete, so here is a close-up, so let me know what you guys think about the look for today. And of course, I cannot decide 
what lip I want to do. I've been sitting here for a few minutes and I keep going back and forth between a couple of options. But I think I'm going to go in with, um, this is one of the Too Faced Natural Nude Lipsticks in the shade Indecent Proposal. It's like a rich chocolate brown shade. So I feel like I'm going to go in with this because it's been a while. I was going between this and a nude lipstick, of course, but it's been a while since I've used this and I am challenging myself to do a different lip for each of these videos because I tend to just pop on the same lips like I have maybe like three or four that I kind of rotate through so I'm gonna go in with this because it'll be something a little different for me so I'm gonna finish everything off with this I just need to pick up another mirror Okay, so let me know what y'all think. Is it too dark or is it too vampy or does it work? I think it works. I mean, it is supposed to be a fall look. So I do tend to gravitate toward like deeper lipstick colors this time of year. And I think it ties in nicely with the eye look. So let me know what y'all think. So this is my finished fall eyeshadow look using the Jackie Ina palette. I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video today. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Let me make sure I don't have any lipstick on my teeth. Okay, and please make sure you subscribe before you head out today, and I really hope to see y'all back here for my next video. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.